So I wanted to start by sharing a little story. Some time ago, a gentleman called me and he talked about his dog, Nikki, who is an 11 and a half year old Alaskan Malamute. And um, what had happened was over the past year or so, Nikki had been deteriorating very badly. And it was, it was actually quite sad what was happening. She was losing function in, in her hind legs. Her tail hadn't gone up in over a year. You know how Malamutes have this nice big tail and her tail was just drooping. And it got so bad that she really had difficulty walking at all. And she couldn't even stand to eat dinner or to drink water. So she had to be fed while she was lying down. She had to be hand fed. And she had to have water squirted in her mouth. And these were wonderful people that had her and they were taking her to the veterinarian regularly. And the vets were saying, there's nothing we can do. She has spinal arthritis. She has a lot of just the typical aches and pains of an older dog. And, you know, this often happens with aging, especially in a large dog. So they tried different medications. So they tried uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories and they tried steroids and neither one would help her. It's nothing improved her. So they were getting ready to really think about euthanizing her because that's what the vet was recommending. They said, you know, you can't let her continue like this. There's nothing more that we can do. But uh, the gentleman, Ron, called, uh, looked on the internet. He started thinking, there's gotta be some other way. So he found my work and he called me and um, he told me the story. And I knew time was of the essence. So we arranged to have him come with the dog the very next day. And they drove, I think it was over two hours, they drove, he and his wife, Paula, drove Nikki down to my office. And I'll tell you, it was really sad when I first saw her because she couldn't, I mean, she was unable to stand, unable to walk. And I thought, you know, what can I do to help this dog? I mean, I always know that there's something I can do but I had told Ron on the phone, I can't guarantee that there's going to be some kind of miraculous turnaround. And he understood that. But what's interesting was when I work with dogs or anyone for that matter, I always think about where are the possibilities? So I don't think about the problems because let's face it, if I were just to think about Nikki's problems, what could I do for her? You know, she had structural problems that came you know, from degenerative type things like arthritis and other problems. So I thought, okay, let's start by giving her a system reboot. You know, when you're having trouble with your computer and I think we could all relate to this, right? You just want to say, well, short of throwing it out the window, you just shut it down. And oftentimes that helps, right? It's sort of like a clean slate, you can start over. Well, that's often the way it works with dogs. So when you think about all the problems that Nikki had, um, what I always envision is like a downward spiral that, you know, she started getting sore in her back and then weak in her hind legs. And then she started having trouble with her front legs because she was compensating. So you can see how she could progressively get worse and worse. So what I did was she lay down on a mat in my office and I simply supported her with my hands. I listened to her breathing. I made sure that I was centered and calm at the same time. And I just started to think about all the ways I could use my hands to relieve the effort in her overworked muscles. And that's a wonderfully effective way of doing like a system reboot. 